interesting speakers in a particular way, not uh, because they come from another planet, but more importantly because they live amongst us, they're here, and they also have skills and expertise that we can use it. And we said that the seminar was meant that when people attend it, they would be able to connect, they would be able to network. But the speakers are accessible. You can talk to them, you can give their business cards, you can talk to them, not some fancy people that you don't know where they come from. You know, they're actually sitting amongst us, they live amongst us. The image that you create about yourself, not about anyone else, about your friends, about your mother, your sister, no. About yourself is how people will treat you. You want people to respect you. I don't know why it doesn't take you seriously. So don't expect people to do things to you or to see you in a way that you don't even see yourself. You need to find space so you can take time for the people that you want in your life. Not the people that I want, the people that you want in your life. You know when a child grows up, when they are three, when they are five, they start asking themselves deep and short questions. That's what happens when you're in business for the first three years. So what we think is we are an entrepreneur when we are not, right? What most of us are, we are technicians. Because we are able to do something technically, doesn't mean you can run a successful business that provides the service. I need to start managing people. I advise you to create a business that will help you achieve. Because that is your purpose. Make sense? So ask yourself if you are in the business that will help you to achieve your purpose on this earth. That's what I ask you. What is it that we can do the best? Because let's face it, we're all not superheroes. Right? Even superheroes have maybe one, maybe two super strengths. Right? Superman can fly. Right? Spider-Man can do the webs, right? He can't, nobody can do everything. Forex market, every single day that it opens from Monday to Friday, pushes in 5.5 trillion US dollars every single day that it opens. And all I'm saying to you is all we want is 0 0.00002% of whatever's going in there. Right? Forex will bring 5.5 trillion every single day. Monday to Friday. So, advantages of Forex is it's a 24 hour market. So, the reason why I said morning is that maybe somewhere in Asia, in Europe, in New York, it's morning. So, someone's making money while it's morning. Right? So, if I'm telling you now that on Monday the dollar is going to go down, we can take the trade today. We don't have to go to the currency exchange in Santon to say, I want to buy it. But what happens by the time you stop filling in the form, it's actually gone back up. So for all you ladies who are sitting in a relationship with a guy, you've been with him for seven years, and you're thinking, hey, he's still trying to suss you out to see whether or not you are marriage material, I'm here to tell you right now. That dude is wasting your time. <laughs> he is wasting your time. When a guy knows, he knows. When a guy knows, he knows immediately after meeting you. I'm sorry, but that guy is not getting what he's actually looking for. He is totally unsure what it is he's even doing with you. But because he's not finding what he's looking for elsewhere, he's going to hang around and mark time with you. <laughs> He's marking time, he's chilling, he's kicking it. How many times have you heard this story? Guys with a woman for seven years, ten years, meets her, two months later, he's engaged to a woman. Six months later, he's married to a woman. Yes? Yes. yes. We've all heard the story. I've never heard the story. You've never heard the story? <laughs> Where are the... No, but... Come on. Because I want to go like go where? I said I want to go. I, I want to go. I used to go and I said I want to, you know, go away from. I want to stop destroying your life. If my life is messed up, it's not your life. It's mine. I need to go sort out myself. 
I need to go find out, you know, why all those things. And she doesn't even know why I'm saying those things. I'm saying all those things because I just lost part of me. That was someone we spent the most profound days of my life. Like the person we had the highest conversations and we had the highest results of what we would do. We had these promises of these things that we would do. I pray that two, in two weeks, we have a two days and I pray that I'm able to tell you the story. That's a really long story and it's going to take away the time to you know, tell you how. Is we need to go inside of us to feel and to see what it feels like. It's okay not to be okay. Because as human beings, we always want to hide that. We cry when we want to laugh, and we laugh when we want to cry. And what you say to the universe, the universe is going to give back to you. So when I declared that I'm taking time to go within, the universe was working in my favor. The universe is always working in our favor. We perceive and we think the universe is working against us. We breathe, we went inside. When you go inside, you realize that everything inside of you is gems. So, the anger, because when I was diagnosed with this heart valve problem, I immediately got angry. I was angry at my parents, I was angry at my husband, I was angry at my children, I was angry at my community. I was angry at the world, because as if the world was out to get me. The joy that you feel, the peace that you feel, the happiness that you feel. Every one of these emotions, emotion, E, motion, means energy in motion. So every one of these emotions was speaking to me. That's why these are gems. It was telling me a story about who I truly was. Everything you do, you sell yourself. You can sell yourself to anyone. I'm going to show you the first step of being successful in sales. That is number one, you ask for the money. Number two, you're going to place value on yourself. And then guys, I want you to understand that I'm going to activate the most powerful talent that God gave us. There are eight. I'm going to talk about the other seven when you get here. I'll quickly mention it. But the one talent that God gave you, which is the communication talent, don't you ever apologize about being a communicator. The moment you say to people, I change people's lives. I get up every day and I change people's lives. I go out into the world and I change people's lives. I change people's lives because I take what they see as a house and convert it into a home by starting off with a high value for them where they realize their value. God gave us mana in the olden days and the mana fell from heaven. So he took the mana and called it money. And it's money. Best is not enough. When athletes sit on the track and they're going to start running, best is not enough. Best doesn't cut it. When you go beyond best, 